We can take uh, eight crew maximum, so maybe that happens. Okay, we have the event here that, uh, you know, gives me the choice between fuel and ammunition. Last time you guys said go after the fuel. And I think I'm going to go after the fuel again. So we are inside an iron storm though, so that will be fun here. Um, okay. You jet toward the pirate with the fuel supplies and engage. Hopefully you can leave the ship in one piece. So... Oh, they have nice iron weapons, but they only have one level of shields. Hmm, let me think about this for a second. I'm glad that I have um, Rylock in engines, giving me that extra power here. I'm powering up uh, the burst later. Yeah, and the basic laser. In hopes of um, getting their weapons offline. Okay, that was a nice volley there of them. And it's going to hit um, doors. No, O2 even. Damn it. No, Jordy, you stay here. Major Mills, go and take care of this. And their weapons are offline. Ah, they want to get away. They don't like it that they that I destroyed their O2. Now how you do how do you like that, huh? I do the same to you. Okay, um I have to take care special care of Major Mills there. Okay, Major Mills, well done. And that's it! The ship is destroyed, did not get away. And we shall have oxygen in all rooms. The ship obliterated. Only scant fuel canisters can be scavenged from the wreckage before the iron storm clears and you have to jump away. Two fuel and nine scraps. Alright. And let's heal up our wonderful Major Mills who repaired the whole O2 system inside an oxygen-free oxygen, -G oxygen -free environment. Yes, TX. Match Bay is powered up. All is fine. All is fine. Okay. Nice. At least a little bit of fuel, right? Okay. So let's jump there. Your crew are constantly looking out of the windows, checking for hostiles. They jump at every creek and moan of the ship. My ship doesn't moan. It's in excellent condition. The tension is almost palpable, but nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay, jump to the next. Look, oh, I could have powered everything up here. Okay. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. They want to get away. Of course they do. They have a beam drum up. And as I said, they want to get away. So don't let them get away. After L delayed, good. They only have beams, so they can't even hurt me. But I also cannot train on this because beams don't uh, train up the shield guy. And beams don't miss, so yeah, I can't train on this ship. Bummer. Mets are for weaklings, sis Darknade. Okay, you're safe though. Oh, I destroyed that, that drone with my laser. Hello, 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 says hello, Dine. A big Reaper spider, says X5. No, that was a scout. Uh, automated rebel scout. Um, I'm still ahead of the fleet. Ten scraps this time. And one drone part. Okay. I find it interesting how the uh, scrap rewards go down in sector two. 
not below 10, but still, Sector 1 was better in terms of scrap rewards. Okay, what do I want to do next? Oh, I'm s I am still want to buy myself uh, another energy bar. Because right now I'm lending this one additional bar from, or borrowing it from the engineering system. Yeah. Okay, let's get more stra uh, scraps, shall we? We shall get back to that distress signal, no worries. Oh, they want three missiles and uh, give us seven fuel? Oh, of course I'll make that trade. Thank you! Oh, there is a store ahead. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe? maybe? I think that distress signal is now gone. Because we want to time it so that we get to the store um, right in time before the fleet catches up. So that we have the maximum amount of scraps. Yeah. A message broadcast from a nearby planet announced the presence of an ancient Zoltan monastery again. Oh, I always miss that monastery. I have to make sure I at one point, at one point in time, I want to see that monastery. Okay, I leave that store behind. I want to collect scraps for this store. And if I go to another store, that would be an empty jumps in terms of scraps. A rebel ship moves in to engage. You attempt to open communications, but realize the futility of that action when you see the ship is run by an AI. Yeah, you can't talk to AIs. Oh, combat drone plus a laser. But I think it's only a single layer as a laser. It is. Okay, that laser is gone, so now they can't hurt me. I could train up Dark Daedalus now. For a while. Until that uh, thing comes back up. And that combat drone is really fast. It's really fast firing, so I'm ranking up here really fast. The thing... The reason why I have to disable their weapons though is there is a small chance that this combat one shoots twice very fast after each other like pew pew and then my uh, uh, my shields will be gone and then they can hurt me you know that's why I have to disable this so it's not a it's a very good opportunity to train but I can't sustain this for very long because I always have to disable their lasers Hello Tyne, yes you can. When once this thing here explodes, I will show you. But you won't believe what happened in Sector 1. It was it was unreal. Very unreal. The game was so nice to me. It gave me a, 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 a this burst laser 2 here. I found it in space for free. For free. Okay, their laser is back up. Let's see. Okay, I think I will wait a while until if they actually get to that stage that they can hurt me. That interests that interests me. Ah, oh, they're missing a lot. I like that. Yeah, I don't I don't need that right now. I I need the, my power in engines. I want to train my uh, t crew, and that includes evading the sh uh, the uh, the shots. So I don't need that f uh, sixth laser. Y you have to imagine five lasers in sector two. This is oh, there you go. Did you see that? It shot twice. Wow, that was that was close. That was close. I I stabilized. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, Dark Devil is already leveled up. We, are, we have a level 1 shield guy now. Congratulations, Dark Devil is. Another one leveled up. Who was that? Jordy? Jordy leveled up! Yay! So, why is Bali Guy not leveling up? Oh, Bali Guy is on weapons. Why is Rylock not leveling up? Okay, Rylock need, needs another dodge. Whoa! 
Ah, there you go! Congratulations, Vylog! Level 1 engineering for you. Excellent! Yeah, I have to take this opportunity uh, using that combat drone to get uh, Dark Dallas to level 2. There is no way, uh, no, uh, no faster way in this game to safely get up to level uh, 2 shields. Well, safe for two combat ones, maybe, but that won't be safe anymore. Oh yeah, Mazais. Actually, I that is a good idea. Although weapons guy, Bale guy is pretty is already level, almost level two, so we don't need to do that for long. There you go. Bali guy, congratulations! You leveled up to level two weapons. Thank you for the hint, Messias. While access noise, power leveling to Stark Deadless 2013. Yes, indeed, indeed. That's what it is. So Dark Deadless is almost at level two already. Only eight more hits into the shields, and we are done with this. Training here, uh, we will uh, not level Jordy and um, Rylock to level 2, I guess. Oh, look at this! Maybe we will. Oh! Level 2 shields for Dark Daedalus! Congratulations! There was the no another miss. Yeah, Jordy is level 2 shields! Congratulations, Jordy! Uh, level 2 piloting! Now we only have Rylock here left. Two more evades and we have level two engineering too. Nice. Come on. Two more evades. There you go. One more evade. One more dodge. There you go. Everyone on level two. Start shooting. And that's that. Just hello time. So we get 18 scraps. Maybe the game wants to, you know, uh, recognize or notice that uh, the the duration of this fight and think hmm, that was worth 18 scraps. No, I'm, I'm just talking out of my ass here. So, just talking out of my ass. So you can see now our evade is now at 30. Nice. We have um, plus 30% faster recharge. And um, what else? Ah, yeah, weapons. Plus 20% faster recharge. Nice. Nice, everyone. Well done. Well done. So there is no connection between these two. If I go here, 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 and here, that would be four jumps. I don't think I can make four jumps before this. Or can I? Okay, let's ch let's test it. Let's check it out. Emergency! All ships in range, we are under attack! The frequency matches a nearby Zoltan ship. You move in on their pursuer. They take your intervention as a cue to jump away. Cowards! Okay, now I'm left with these guys here. I, I can take them on. They have like some sort of iron thing and a laser. Okay. My crew is now at level uh, 2, everyone, so I don't need to... Um, train anymore. Otherwise, I could, this could have been another opportunity to do so. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at the little Graffin Mantis here, trying to repair weapons. Isn't that cute? Okay, here comes in an offer. I don't take that. And how about I spook them a little bit by uh, destroying their oxygen? Bam, okay. Already did the trick. 16 scraps, yes! And one fuel, one drone part. Nice, okay. I need to buy that additional uh, energy bar now. Thank you very much. Oh no, I'm on my way to a store! Ah! Okay. Okay, I hope there will be some scrap rewards ahead. Yeah! Thank you. You jumped just in time to witness a Zoltan ship's FTL drive overload. In their final moments, they implore you not to get involved, but it's too late. Their attack is already upon you! 
Okay, they have a beam drone and they have a normal laser, so they can't hurt us. Like, except maybe this is a, a double laser, but I don't think so. Yeah, it's just a normal laser, so it's fine. It would have been another opportunity to um, to train, and that is the beauty of two uh, of two levels of shields early on. You come across um, in sector one and in sector two. You come across numerous um, ways to train. So, since they can't hurt us, the first thing I did was hampering their uh, capability of um, jumping away. They have a systems repair drone though, so they repair very fast. But, well, I don't care. 14 scraps, 2 fuel, 1 missile. Nice. Okay, don't buy anything. Don't buy anything. You are on your way to a store, dude. You are on your way to a store. Oh, oh, asteroid field. Oh, well, your Zoltan shield is not going to help you a lot. You arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the National Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be conf confiscated for processing. You don't have time for this. No, I don't really. I hope by the time my weapons are ready that this pesky Zoltan shield is gone. So asteroids, please, do your job. Oh, they missed. Okay, I'm just waiting for the asteroids to, you know, kill that. Thank you. Yes, fire in their weapons. Nice. Excellent. Hey, could I maybe, maybe kill them? No, that is too health. That the Zorton is too healthy, I guess. Oh, he went away. Okay. Just in time. The ship exploded. Yeah, 14 scraps, one missile, one drone fight. Okay, cool, cool. 66 scraps, and we can jump. There is another dis distress signal. Okay, if we jump to the store now, we will have to jump to the exit. That will be one jump too early. What would we need from a store now? Maybe a good augmentation, like long range scanners or something like that. Otherwise, we could maybe make even two jumps, you know, you, to this thing, to the distress and back to the exit. So three jumps in total and here only two jumps in total. Ah, why is this so badly placed? Do I want to go to a store or get an additional jump? There will be other stores. There will be other stores. That's what I what I'm saying here. That was a really short training session, says Bali guy. Uh, that Mantis went to the MIT Mantis Institute of Technology. Store, 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 says Rylock. You want to go shopping, eh? Alrighty, yeah, okay. I shall go to the store then. The scrap rewards aren't that big that, you know, I need to maximize on them that much. Please, there is nothing I don't have and there is nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why not take a look around my shop? Ooh! Oh! Ah! Hmm. Page 2, drone control. Where's a defense drone on it? That gives me 10, so I'm at 76. Guys, I am seriously considering buying drone control here. That will help versus missile, uh, versus missile systems. slug maybe I, I'm not going to buy a crew I have my NG that's enough 
Maybe that breach missile, but it takes three power to, uh, you know. That's a little bit too heavy on my, in my opinion. I uh, value heavy lasers over hull lasers, so I'm not buying that hull laser either. Drone control. Drone control is the one that I'm considering. And I am going to buy this. I'm selling two basic lasers and buying that drone control. There you go. Yeah! Nice. And I even have one additional power now. So I only need one more to um, get that defense drone out. We only have 11 d drone parts, but I hope that will be enough. And uh, yeah, we, we jump out of here now. If you get drone control, then you will be ready for hacking. Hacking is fun and you haven't had it yet in the first two runs. A uh, body guy, you don't need drone control to make hacking work. You don't even need that. You've arrived in the long... yeah. There is, yes! An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Attack the automated ship to get to the storage core. Incoming hacking! So let's get the defense drone up to shoot that down. Didn't work. Damn it. And they got our engines. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Um, do this and this. And do this. Nice. Still, my offense is good enough to outbalance this. So, by the way, notice that their uh, ha hacking is totally destroyed. And that makes it so that this room is no longer locked by hacking. And also the person inside the hacked room is now again uh, allowed to operate its station. That happens when their enemy uh, hacking is destroyed. Nice. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. 17 scraps! Investigate the station! An iron stunner and 10 scraps! Interesting! Let's have a look. An iron stunner. Takes only one power! Isn't that great? I can operate it! I can operate it! Charge time 10 seconds. Just as much as the basic laser is nice. And it does one iron damage. And it stuns the person inside the room. I like it. Nice. I'm intrigued. We lost one uh, drone part though. But that's fine, I guess. Jump. So we need to jump now, otherwise the uh, fleet catches up to the exit beacon. That's unfortunate. We lost one jump in here. Oh, Zoltan Homeworld! A chance for another Zoltan shield, guys? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? Yes, of course we shall! Ah, I thought the thing that attaches when you got hacked was a hacking drone. It is called a drone? Because it uses drone parts. You, uh, the drone control system and hacking share um, the same resource pile. This, this here, right? If you use hacking once, you use one drone part. And if you launch a drone via the drone control system, it also uses a drone part. That is why it's called a hacking drone. But it is a system that operates um, separately from the con drone control system. There you go, body guy. So I'm go definitely going, I'm leaving that uncharted nebula behind. We have lots of nebulas in front of us still. And I definitely am going for the Zoltan homeworld here. Definitely. So there you go. Hello Zoltans, it's me again. It's me again. So guys, my plan for today is to stream four hours. So until uh, six o'clock in the evening here, Central European. And today I'm going to make a, a short break so that I'm not growing that hungry like yesterday. So I will make uh, a short eating break in uh, here. 
So don't worry, I will be back in like two minutes from now. And uh, in the meantime, you enjoy a little music that I play. Oh, I don't think I have a break screen. Prepare. Oh, I have. Okay, cool. So guys, enjoy. Uh, th today is my core and sounds day again. You saw at the start or you heard or listened to Infinite Funk at the start because this title is awesome. And you now will hear another uh, a core and sound title. It is called 80s Fitness. So please, guys, everyone here. Keep fit and enjoy. Speaking of FTL, let's bring up the game again. There you go. Music volume up. So we, our Castle B run here is pretty good. Oh, I, um, I promised to someone to show the ship's layout here. So there you go. It is the SS first try. We have five crew members. By the name of Jordi, Barley Guy, Rylock, Dark Daedalus and Major Mills. Dark Daedalus is a very, very good uh, close combat specialist. Rylock energizes the engines well. Barley Guy, a, uh, already level 2 weapons specialist. And Jordi is piloting magnificently as always. Uh, actually everyone here at, at their respective stations is already at level 2. And Major Mills is good at repairing. Joined us later on and will solve and help us with a lot and lots of upcoming events. This is the crew, this is the upgrades. We have level 2 shields, we have level 2 engineering, we have level 1 medi med bay, level 2 O2 for the uh, cheapest amounts possible. We got two events uh, to upgrade the O2. I did not go after the first event to get in favor of scraps. And then I got it again and it was even cheaper to upgrade it. So there you go. We have level 5 weapons already. Uh, level 2 uh, drones. I just bought that at a store in the last sector. Uh, it came together with a defense 1 drone. And we have level 1 piloting. Level 2 sensors. I, did, I bought this because uh, ahead of us lie a lot of nebulas. And I had nebulas in that location. <coughs> and it... Uh, actually gave us uh, the energy that we have on board. So it immediately paid off. And level 1 doors. 11 power bars and there you go. Equipment here, we have a burst laser 2 that we found in space. This ship doesn't start with a uh, burst laser 2. No, no, no. We found it in space. Uh, we have an iron stunner, a ba on two, two basic lasers and a defense 1 drone. There you go. I hope that uh, answers your questions. Messiah's F FTL difficulty list. Mega Pie Man, easy, normal, high, Jody Joe. <laughs> well done, Messias. Well done. Oh, the poor pie. The poor pie. Atruxo said there was only one registered 28 ship win streak before, so Billy One Kirby is officially in the longest hard win streak reg registered today. Interesting. Yeah, win streak. I wouldn't even think about uh, a win streak challenge because, my goodness, you will need years to get a, a full 28 win streak. Um, TX says to Messiahs, but Jordi found epic stuff, so why is Jordi more difficult than hard? What? Ah, I'm, I'm more difficult than hard even. I didn't even read that. You know, just to off-balance Mega Pie, maybe. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, let's jump, guys. Let's jump here. Uh, let's first distribute the power again from the defense drone. We are inside uh, in the in the start beacon, starting beacon in Sector 3. Of Sector 3, it is the Sultan Homeworlds. And I uh, valued that over the nebula that I could jump to. Because, you know, Sultan Homeworld... There is a potential Dalton shield coming up, so let's do this! Let's first jump here, see what happens. Oh, asteroid! Of course! You arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed minefields, I had this. I had this just a, a, a moment ago, this event. Alrighty. So let the asteroids work on their Zoltan shields and run, once that is done, we fire the iron stunner and send the rest after. 
after them. Oh my goodness, that actually means um, they can fire their beam if I don't do anything. No, I don't have the time to wait for the asteroids. So let's get this off. Oh, I missed. And they fired their beam anyway, and it was stopped, so it's fine, I guess, to wait for the asteroids. Come on, asteroids. Get that Zoltan shield off. Thank you very much. Um, iron stunner, go for... Whom do I want to stun? Go for this guy. And it was a miss. God damn it, they, had good, they have good evasion. And again, I miss with everything here. Okay, finally. That big ass beam is coming in. But I, my shields level are good. Shields levels are good. Let's stun the guy who's trying to repair. Again, a miss. Aha! Two hits in the shield. Oh, fire in their weapons! Fire! 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 Okay. Aha! I hit finally with the stunner. Stop him from uh, healing up. Ah, oh, they break apart. You can't really, uh, you know, kill the enemy crew of the ship in the first few sectors. You always do more damage to the ship than to the crew, unfortunately. If you don't board, if you don't board. Atuxo says, uh, We are talking godlike level FTL playing here. That guy did hide no pores with all 28 ships before the win streak challenge. I think he's clocking in the 1000s of hours. Awesome! I, th I, 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 I um, admire people who can get into a thing um, that deep. I think it's very uh, entertaining to watch this. Uh, 17 scraps and a fuel, nice, nice. So we are at 45 scraps now. Any, any, anything, anything? Okay, let's go into the center location. Hello, ex Wugen. This is the SS3 then. No, this is the SS first try again. Because we have one in the SS2, ex Wugen. The SS... Second try defeated the flagship. We have one victory um, on our side now. So this is the Kestrel B now in the SS first try. The Mantis outcasts sometimes make the mistake of taking the Zoltan for easy game. A scout moves in to attack while a boarding party beams aboard from a nearby transport. Alrighty, so two mantises in my in my med bay. And I will send in Dark Daedalus to deal with this. Hmm. They have a missile system. Interesting. And I will send yeah, Major Mills, come on. I will train you to be a, a warrior. A mighty Angie warrior. So this missile system is a little bit... Uh... You know what, I will put the iron stunner offline because it's projectile, it's slow. And uh, one level of evasion and put the defense one drone up, yeah. Okay. Battle NG! Major Mills, you can do it! Okay, my lasers are ready. Or no, let's do it, do it like this. And nice! Defense 1! Nice! You're doing work here! Yes! One attacker is down, next volley is ready. Let's see if we can kill the NG here. Ah, almost, almost. Where we well did uh oh, not Major Mills got the kill here. That was a kill steal, Dark Deadless. That was a kill steal. Okay, Dark Deadless back to shields. And Major Mills back to doors. Let's put that one energy into oxygen, open all doors. The next salvo is ready. And, by the way, let's save the stations here real quick. Cool. And now, finish them. Yes.
This is... Uh, Bali, guys, this would be the SS first try B, correct? Yes. Correct. Bali, guy. Good job, then, says Xwugen. Thank you very much. The SS first buy, says Angamoth. Alteroxo says, I don't know if you can do it during the stream, but you should update the title to proudly show one of 28. Yeah, I should. I, I can do this, but um, it doesn't show for ev anybody who is not um, refreshing. So, update it. Done. Thank you for uh, uh, the suggestion there. Alteroxo. Alrighty, let's get the oxygen back up to 100 and then we are out of here. 70 scraps and I have no um, s shop coming up. So I could use it on my ship for something. What would be the next step? So we are going to jump into three nebulas. So maybe get piloting up one level it's always a good idea to have redundancy on piloting you guys said that yesterday and it is a good idea uh, also evasion would be a good idea to get get up here but we could go totally crazy and uh, get an early uh, level 3 shields maybe because weapons wise we are pretty good I'd say We'll see. We don't need to upgrade it now. We are pretty good. We are pretty good on uh, everything. Okay, I want to go down and then back up to, um, you know, profit from the nebula locations. Aye, aye, Captain says Dark, Dark Daedalus. Hello, Inquisitor of Akalani. It's nice to see you again. Atroxen says the second bar in piloting gives chance of blue option in nebula storms. Right, see Atroxen, that's why I wanted to do this. Uh, you arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stay to sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Participate in their study. Your crew calmly lined up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Well, at least the dough were, were, uh, were tasty. Okay, this is actually um, also a part of another quest, but not the quest that we are looking for. This is not the quest you are looking for. Alright, let's power this up. And gets this back up. There is a store. There is a store. So let. <laughs> uh, so why I am making these strange sounds here is um, going to the store and you know collecting scraps before I go there um, takes time away from me to explore the other parts of the universe. And I want to try come to come across the uh, the quest. And I'm I'm currently thinking about what could I need from a store? Yeah, well, an augmentation, obviously. An augmentation and maybe something like a heavy laser or something uh, something to do with, with a punch behind it you know but we could get that in another store in another that doesn't need to be this one here I want to find that uh, quest maybe up here But it could also be here on our way to the store. One, two, three, four. Okay. I decided. Alrighty, a fight. Federation scum. We've waited a long time for this. Federation scum. Okay, we have an intruder. Where? In Med Bay. Oh, thank you very much. That was very considerate of you. To jump into Med Bay. 
Okay, first the iron stunner. I want to stun. Whom do I want to stun? I want to stun the pilot. I hit shields and. Ah, okay. I can only stun the person inside the system if there is no. If I really hit the system. I understand. Oh, I forgot to aim basic laser 4. Silly me. Why does it take so long for the Iron Stunner to be back up again? I don't understand. Okay, it doesn't even matter. Yes, that's, that went beautifully. So maybe I should uh, line up the Iron Stunner differently so that it can hit the systems that I want to hit, right? So, no. Basic laser 3 and 4 go there. Then the iron stunner goes into this guy. Hopefully. And basic laser, first laser 2 shoots 2. Hmm. That, oh, I didn't even shoot the iron stunner. You have to check that out. You have to. Ah, that was the, that was the problem that I had here. Okay. There you go! Stunt the pilot! Nice! Oh, it misses! Okay. Alright, so I'm sorry guys, I'm training my volleys here to get the iron stun in. So, they, they are giving me an offer, that's actually pretty good, two drone parts and stuff like that, but I want all the scraps that I can, so I'm going to kill them. 22 scraps, not bad, 3 fuel. Okay. I don't think you can find the envoy in nebula beacons, not 100%. Yeah, I was thinking about that, was that a nebula, was that not a nebula where I found them the last time? Um, we will find out. Hopefully. Hopefully. So. Everything is in order. Let's jump to the... Well, not yet to the, st uh, to the store. You stumble upon some salt military vessels engaging in combat training. The energy shields are impressive. Don't, aren't they? But you note how quickly beam and iron weaponry take them down. Wow, some strategic information there. Or tactical... Uh, Technical information there. To the store! So what do we have here? Mind control. Iron intruder. Combat 2. Combat 2. That, that thing is totally crazy. But it's totally out of the question to buy this on hard. <clears throat> if you have a drone recovery arm, then maybe. Then it might be worth it. So nothing in here is worth it except for mind control. And this is, uh, you know, coming up against um, maybe level two, sh uh, level three shields, or other upgrades to the sh uh, to the system, to the ship. Fuel-wise, we are fine. We don't need to buy fuel. I don't think I want to buy anything here. Mind control is pretty good, though. What's the intruder as Bali guy? Breaches through the enemy hull and randomly ionizes system. So yeah, it takes three power. And uh, yeah, once it, it's like the boarding drone, but uh, it doesn't attack crew. What it does, it moves from room to room. And when the system is inside the room, it goes And once the poof happens, uh, the system will be deeply ionized. AKA um, taken offline. That sounds fun, says Baliga. Yes, it's, it does, but it takes uh, a drone part every time. So, I would, I'm, I'm, guys. Would you advise me to buy mind control? Uh, chat, help me out here. Would you, would you at this stage buy mind control as another system? Uh, it, it counters enemy mind controls. Um, it helps me bringing down the enemy pilot reliably. 
Um, not inside, uh, not inside the nebulas though that are coming up. <laughs> well, that would be a thing. He farts inside the room. No, Mazayev, that was not a fart. I don't know if you ever heard a fart, but ice cans spells. Hello, thank you for speaking up. You say no. Upgrade piloting. All right, all right. That is... That is a word. Rylock says, what a terrible storm, not even selling a Vulcan. Yeah, not even selling a Vulcan, right? What what, what are these guys? What, what do what do they think they are? Who do they think they are? I personally love MC, says Arthur but I think it's a personal choice at this point. Yeah, I think um, mind control is awesome, and at some point later on, I can be convinced to buy it. But we are the upcoming three nebulas in a row that we are going to jump into um, make this a little bit not so worth it anymore because we can't actually see the interior of the en of the enemy ship, so there's nothing to mind control. We can still counter enemy mind control, but I think I can take this without the mind control system. So we close it here and uh, jump up here to get into that nebula location. Even if we don't find the Zoltan Short inside nebulas, um, we should still take the nebula locations here. As many as possible. We are still on hard here and it is a, a scrap game, so yeah, let's jump up.